And happening today, now that the race is over, hundreds of thousands of fans have turned the track from the brickyard to a junkyard, leaving behind tons of trash. And that's where cleanup crews come in, and what a dirty job it is. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser joins us live from the IMS with what it takes to get the job done. Chance. Well, Mark, just looking around, you can really learn a lot about racing fans. These guys for sure like beer, and they like drinking it out of uh, blue solo cups and the like. They also liked, uh, well, they really focused mostly on the beer here. <laughs> it looks like their neighbors uh, down the way were playing cornhole. There's a cornhole set left behind. It, it's not much of a stretch at all to call it a junkyard. It really does look like a, a sparse landfill. From the stands to the infield, there are countless cans and bottles, some heavy lifting too. Uh, last year, we saw some couches, ping pong tables, toilets, uh, tons of half eaten food. And believe it or not, hundreds of school and nonprofit groups have been on a waiting list for as long as two years to get the opportunity to restore their brickyard. And the Speedway rewards them handsomely, paying hundreds, even thousands of dollars to groups depending on how much ground uh, they cover. It's quiet here for now, but those groups are going to move in and start this massive cleanup work uh, shortly after the sun rises this morning. Live at the Speedway, Chance Walser, RTV6. <laughs>